In today's show, we have a stand-up about the Norse Nook. And a story about the first Friday Art Walk. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform. Finding character. And giving others a voice. This is SVTV. I'm Allie. And I'm Ethan, and you're watching Seaman Viking Television. If you are interested in working for the Writing Center next year, applications are on their website. The deadline is on the 15th. If you are enrolled in driver's ed, there is a mandatory meeting tomorrow during seminar. This will be held in the auditorium. FCCLA is hosting a fundraiser to get members to nationals. They are selling burritos for $2 a burrito or $20 for a dozen. Email Miss Jones to order. Allie went to talk to Rachel Kruisenberg about Norse Nook. Let's go check it out. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Rachel to talk about the Norse Nook. So what's going on tomorrow? The Norse Nook is open during all lunches tomorrow. Okay, and what can we get there? Um, we have hats, jackets, chairs, everything's on sale since it's the end of the year. This will be the last day, so if you want something, make sure and check it out. No back to your anchors. Make sure to go buy some apparel. Now over to Allie to see what sports are in action tonight. Hi, my name is Cooper Smith, and I'm attending Kansas State University next year. We will be filming senior thank yous during your government classes. If you haven't already filmed yours, come to our seminar in the studio during these dates. Make sure you get yours filmed. And I want to thank my mom, dad, friends and family for supporting me and go cats. Tomorrow at 10.30, Jaden Yingling will sign to play soccer at Kansas City Community College. Congratulations, Jaden. Baseball has their senior night tonight against Hayden. Come out and support. Now over to Josh with the weather. Good afternoon to you. Lots of severe weather in Kansas yesterday. Winds were up to 80 miles per hour with up to baseball size hail and even a couple tornadoes out in southwestern Kansas. But here, we missed out on the severe weather. Still, though, picking up over one and one-third inches of rain since Sunday. And this wet weather pattern continues throughout the next few days. That's why a flash flood watch remains in effect until 1 a.m. Thursday with repeated rounds of heavy rainfall. Now, today, the severe weather risk is quite a bit lower, just the marginal risk in effect. And here's how it plays out on our simulated radar. By 3 o'clock, just some isolated showers and thunderstorms. But as we head later into the evening, storms should start to organize over central and western Kansas, and they'll move their way, way in by the early morning hours of your Wednesday. So it could be a loud night once again tonight. And by tomorrow morning, still could have some lingering showers in the area, although the precipitation should be quite a bit lighter by drive time. In terms of severe weather, again, it's a lower risk, but we can't roll out some wind or hail later on today with the storms. Our main risk, though, continues to be flash flooding with excessive rainfall that may occur. Now, tomorrow, a marginal to slight risk once again. However, it's more uncertain still, but we could see some redeveloping thunderstorms in the late afternoon and evening hours with yet again another round of heavy rainfall and checking out the seven day forecast you can see that we do dry out on thursday with 55 degrees for the high it's going to be breezy and feeling cool more like a fall like day coming up on thursday but notice already back up to 70 degrees by sunday now ethan and ally back to you so ally do you like art not really but i do like the first friday art walk well spencer and zara did a story about it let's go check it out Last week was the May 1st Friday Art Walk in Noto. We visited the shops and checked out some of the fun activities they had to offer. We asked some students from Seaman High School at First Friday what they thought of the art. The art is interesting. In opinion, most of it seems like it's made by professionals and not really by students. We're getting people from like even our school to like put out art. On, I mean, that means we must have some really good artists at Seaman High School and I know that we do. We asked them if other students should visit NOTO for the art walks during the summer. 
I think you should come to the next first Friday of next month here at Noto. If, if you like art in any way, and even if, even if you don't, it's just a really fun time to come out. First Fridays in Noto are a fun summer activity that you don't want to miss. Definitely check out the artwork made by Seaman High School students, the shops, and of course the live music. Now, back to your anchors. Make sure and go to the Art Walk next month. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Tomorrow we have a story in the Bacoffman game. Have a great rest of your day.